Hey everyone, welcome to the Hornet King channel and this video is brought to you by I don't get paid to say dumb things about products that I don't care about and pitch them to you.com. <laughs> and in this video, I'll be removing a massive Eastern Yellow Jacket colony that decided to make its nest underground at a client's house. This is actually the second nest that I had to remove for this client this season. And I was happy to come out and remove not only an Eastern Yellow Jacket colony, but a Southern Yellow Jacket colony. This removal video is of the Eastern Yellow Jacket colony. Here's the video, check it out. I'm the Hornet King, and I removed some incredible and insane wasp nests. Alright, so a customer here has looks like eastern yellow jackets. And I say eastern because there's no there's no envelope around the hole which would indicate that it were southerns. Client here who has southern yellow jackets in the ground. You can always tell when they're southern because they cake the entrance way with envelope. It's one of the only species that I deal with that actually do this when they make a ground nest. The duo will too, but not quite this involved. No idea how deep they go. So we're going straight down. Yeah, that's straight. Looks like they're down a little ways. There might be some digging involved. I'm gonna get started. Trying to catch the ones coming back from foraging too, not just the ones that are not just the ones that are coming out of the hole. Not sure what species this is we'll see. Um, Eastern yellow jacket for sure. That one has a little anchor on the back. Just trying to catch the ones coming back from foraging. Not just the ones that are coming out of the hole, but the ones coming back from foraging as well. And people will say, why don't you just put the nozzle like down in the hole like this? And that works, it does get some of them, but it doesn't include the ones coming back from foraging, it doesn't suck them up, so that's why I always put it kind of to the side here and do this. And stand back a little bit. The ones that are hovering around right now will go back to a hole if I step back, so. Quite a few nails have come out of here so far. Need the flashlight. One less thing for them to be upset about.
I'm just going to kind of guess this is where the nest is. Sounds pretty hollow to me. So. Nobody's latched on. Well, <laughs> I was just about to say nobody's latched on to me. So. Try to stay away from the hole if I can help it. So that way the hole will stay there. Be like a target for the wasp to go into. This is nice about leaving that hole like that, because now they're still targeting to go in that hole. So they'll go in there and then they'll get disturbed and they'll come out this big hole where I can vacuum them up. There's quite a few floating around me right now, but again, since that hole is still open, that's mainly where they're going. So. They don't really know to target this area, even though that's where the nest is. What they really know is how to get into the space from that hole. Now, there's quite a few around here now. Quite a few here. Really going down in here. So there's the top of the nest. Let me get the light on. Love. A couple coming out, just looking. So don't worry about the ones that are coming out of the hole right now, because they're going to go, they're going to come out, they're going to swarm me, and then they're going to go right back down this way. Don't have to worry about that. It's always such a concern for people who watch the videos, like, oh, you're missing them. No, I'm not missing them. They're not flying away. They're staying right in this area. They're swarming around right in here. And then they go back to the entrance where I am and get sucked up. No big deal. Of course, there's a root right there. You let this suck up in the morning. I can grab my little slippers. Short amount of time, a significant amount of the numbers have decreased. It looks to be a root right there. I'm going to snip that back. And do that, all those ones that are coming around are going to come out. Hey, baby. <laughs> Probably should dig out a little bit more, but. If I can just pull it out. And I can down a little further. This ground is just so dry. We haven't had a good rain in 
probably over a month. Yeah, you can't say it enough, it's so nice having that, that hole there because going right down into it. And then they come right back out the top. Still quite a few floating around here. But I can go over there. There's a couple over there, not too many. Mainly right here at the entrance way. Can... Oh my god, it's, it's down even further. I didn't think it would be down that far. This is a very, very good size net. I'm gonna grab this and pull it out. I had to squish a little bit of it, but that's the nest. Definitely a good size. Down the cavity, obviously. So, uh, they dug all this out. I mean, this isn't like a, there was a cavity here. Like they dug out this cavity to make room for this nest. This is like completely dug out by them. So all those pebbles and stuff, those pebbles are literally just what they couldn't lift out of the hole. So they just drop down to the bottom. Crazy. There's like a vacuum run for a spell. And I do actually have to spray down inside that hole. There's, there's no way I could go and get all those ones that are in those little nooks and crannies. Oh, it's going to be stinging. Right. Oh, yeah, there is some stinging. Like, yeah, what's that stinging feeling? But I didn't think somebody could get my leg like that. Somebody did. Somebody crawled down and got right through the suit. Put that in there. Bag it up. I'll have to let this run for a little bit and try to get some of the one of the ones out of the bottom here. We're pretty much just going to spray down there. They can be all kinds of little nooks and crannies. You have to remember this is a rodent tunnel. So there's all kinds of little chasms and stuff for them to get into. Literally just bridging this across so they don't think to try to go down that hole anymore. I'm just gonna let this run for a spell. Just cuts the rest of the floor, there's one swarming.
at least it's been running for about uh, 10 minutes. There's still one's coming back from foraging. So I am bushed. It's like 9.30 at night and I just got done removals. I had like eight or nine removals a day. But I have to empty out the bin um, or at least vacuum up all of the remaining foragers and workers on the nests and open up this bin so that way it doesn't get all damp in there, which is already going to be damp. So let's open it up. This is inside the bin. That's a male baldy. Ugh, there's just so much to go through in here. So, might as well get started now. Nests. Bald faced hornets, as you can see on there on the wall. Eastern yellow jacket, southern yellow jacket, European hornet, another bald faced hornet, eastern yellow jacket, German yellow jacket, and another eastern yellow jacket. So this southern was in the ground, baldy was in a, on the side of a house. That was in the ground. Uh, that was in a shed. That was in a tree. That was in a bathroom wall. This is in a boy's ceiling. And this one was in a bedroom wall. So I'll be feeding all these to the animals tomorrow morning. And leave all that in there. All right, well, thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video. If you guys enjoyed this content, drop in the comments, let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions for future videos or something like see me cover in an upcoming video, also drop in the comments to let me know. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so and hit that bell notification down below and that way you guys get an update anytime I do post a video. All right, well, thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video and supporting my channel and I'll catch you on the next one.